you know, if you're going to be a fan of something, I guess you should put your money where your mouth is. Hello everybody, I'm Mad Mark, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play of If It'll Ever Load Dragon Quest, the original remade for the Switch. So, this was originally released on the NES in 1986, I'm guessing, because it says so at the bottom where the copyrights are. Uh, it wasn't the first RPG released in North America. That honor went to Final Fantasy. But it was the first RPG ever made. It's just that it was first released in Japan, where Dragon Quest became insanely popular. Features many of the bells and whistles that you'd see in any typical console RPG. Open world for its time. Uh, Turn-based combat, fantasy setting, magic spells, that sort of thing. So, let's venture forth. Now, I did have a recording where I had all my old adventure logs, but unfortunately, because my microphone, or because OBS, my recording software, failed to pick up my voice, it deleted them. They were in order Costanza, after the character George Costanza from Seinfeld, the Nerevar, a corruption of Nerevarine from The Elder Scrolls III Morrowind, one of my other favorite RPGs. And finally, Toriyama, after the man who did all the amazing artwork for this series, as well as Dragon Ball. So anyway, let's set off on new adventure log. Uh, let's see. Fun fact about Dragon Quest, the original in all of its iterations from the NES to now, is that your name will affect your stat growth. I'm not sure how this one's going to affect my stat growth, but I'm going with the name. Hawkeye. After the character Benjamin Franklin Hawkeye Pierce from my favorite TV show ever, MASH. Alright, let's go. I'll keep the message speed at 5. Keep those at 5 as well. Alright, let's do this. So, here we are in Tanticle Castle. We are the scion of the bloodline of Erdrick, hero of legend. <coughs> Our ancestor got the Spear of Light from the Goddess. And saved the world. But, now a new threat has arised. The Dragon Lord. He stole our sphere of light, and now the world is doomed, or whatever. So, our quest is to kill the Dragon Lord. Oh, we got some chests over here. Alright, so, before we begin, we want to equip this bamboo spear, which we got free of charge, apparently. Gets to give us a little bit of an edge, because I believe in the original NES version, you had nothing. Uh, no, I do not, at the moment. Oh, that sucks. That sucks even worse. Alright. Uh, 
Alright, so the king gave us a magic key, which will open this door. But as soon as we open this door, we lose the magic key. Which sucks, but, eh, what can you do? So, this is actually like a port of the Android version of Dragon Quest. Yeah, the Square Enix released uh, Dragon Quest 1 through 6, as well as 8, on the... on Android phones and iOS. So... They released the first three games on Switch, which... In my opinion, it works much better than the Android phones. Anyway, yeah, see this door? It's locked. We need a magic key. The magic keys just crumble after a single use. So, you know. What are the rumors? Oh dear. Yeah, that guy talks about torches, sell, uh, light, dark areas. I believe in the original NES version, instead of sobbing about Princess Squalen, this guy's both blind and deaf after battling the Dragon Lord's monsters. Well, anyway. Also, if you go down here, this wizard will restore all your MP. But, uh... We don't have any MP at the moment, so he's pointless for right now. All right. So here we are on the world map, and here is Tentacle Castle Town. Let's see. We want to buy some weapons. Sorry if I'm going through a little th this through. Sorry if I'm going through this a little fast. It's just I'm kind of frustrated because I had to record this like three times now. My first two recordings didn't pick up my voice, and yeah, I'm quite frustrated. But yeah, we got our first piece of armor, leather armor. Uh. This is a weapon shop, of course. Those cross swords will mean it's a weapon and armor shop. That or a shield, I think. This is an inn. You can rest up here for three gold. Inns will get more expensive as you wander across Alephgard. He's talking about purple poison swamp tiles. If you uh, go through them, you'll lose HP. Uh, Chimera Wing will instantly take us back to Tanticle Castle, which is the only place we can save. This is the bank, where we can deposit gold and items, but gold needs to be processed in units of a thousand gold coins. We only have 50 right now. Of course I am. The king said so. What? Ah, you suck. Okay. We got a party member now. Nah, just kidding. Uh, she just follows us around until we leave the town. Oh yeah, he's talking about a Dragon Lord's castle to the south of us, perpetually out of reach. Mm. Uh, no. Ooh, magic keys. I think he said to the south. Uh, talk to this guy. He'll remove curses 
But curses can only be gotten from equipment, so... If you're smart, you won't have to worry about that. Did I talk to you? Oh yeah, bridges. If you cross bridges, you'll encounter stronger monsters. So, now that we've talked to everybody here, let's head out! <laughs> yeah, there's the Dragon Lord's castle to the south. Uh, sorry. And so let's see if we can get into a battle. Ah, here we go. Our first enemy, She Slime. So we have a couple commands to pick from. We have attack, which will do exactly that attack. Spells, but we don't have spells yet. We can run away, or we can use some of our items. So let's attack. All right. Yeah, this is just a vanilla enemy. He does nothing but attack. Let's see if we can't find regular slimes. Oh, speaking of the devil, regular slimes. The ultimate vanilla enemy of this game. Probably will die in one hit. Yep. And will grant us only one XP and probably two gold. Yeah. Uh, so, I had to record this three times over because I busted a uh, 3.5 millimeter input on my laptop and I can't use my 3.5 millimeter headset. Actually, I kind of broke the headset in jack as well, but that's another story for another time. Anyway... I also, uh, ordered the part I needed to fix the input on my computer, but it's not coming to like, early December, which will actually be when I'm uploading these videos. I'll probably let you know when I get the part. Probably fix my laptop after I upload all the videos. Yeah, there's a decent chance I could probably accidentally destroy my laptop. But anyway... Uh, what else? Oh, we leveled up! We get... Six more HP. Hooray. Anyways, I mm, also got kind of sick for a while. In fact, you might be might hear me repeatedly sniffling. Yeah, that's still me being sick. And uh, that's about it. Mm, let's go back into town and get a few things. Let's rest up at the inn. Now we have more HP to do so with. Yeah, just fades to black and plays a little tune, and we're magically healed up to 21 HP instead of just 15. Here we have an item shop. Normally, item shops will have, like, a wing symbol. We have a dragon scale. It'll increase our defense a little bit. But we need to manually equip it instead of equip it through the item shop. So that's pretty good. That'll give us a little extra bulk to fight enemies. Speaking of which, let's go down here. Okay, not too far south, otherwise you'll encounter some pretty tough enemies for this area. 
Alright, we're at 15 minutes so far. I really hope this is actually gonna pick up my voice this time. Because I don't want to go through... You know, another three recordings or so. Yeah, another thing about this game, it is notoriously grindy. Probably the most grindy compared to other iterations of the series. Ooh, we got a new enemy, Draki. He's actually just another vanilla enemy. Just attacks and not much else. Ooh, we got a critical hit. Those will pierce defense. Even if your target defends. Well, actually, if your target defends, it'll your crit will deal half damage. Uh, this thing's also a little faster than me, which is kind of irksome. But, you know. The experience from them is better. Uh -huh. Alright, now she slime down. Ooh, and we get another level. At this point, I think we'll actually learn our first spell. Yep, we got 4 MP to play with. And we learn heal. When he holds his sword up, pause the video for a second. When he holds his sword up and it matches his visor, it looks like he's wielding the Keyblade. Yeah, yeah, look at that. It looks like he's got the Keyblade from Kingdom Hearts. But anyway, it's just a regular sword. Actually, it's not even a sword, it's a bamboo spear. Sword in his model, cause it looks cool, I guess. I guess I could talk about my new job. Got a new job at Walmart. Because in April I was working at a different Walmart, but they kept making me work late at night, and I don't like doing that. I'm very weird. I like to work during the daytime. Then I was working at Goodwill, and that job just was utterly abysmal. And then I went back to a diff to my current Walmart. Fortunately a couple days ago I I'm working in the carts, like pushing the carts around and we have this cart machine. Maybe you'll see it if you're a customer. Big red wheelchair looking thing. And actually it looks more like a plow. I, I don't know how to describe it really. Uh, a lawnmower, that's it. It looks like a big lawnmower. But it's for pushing carts. And anyway, I was trying to back it up, but I somehow got it caught on my hand. So I had my hand smashed between the cart pushing machine handle and a wall. 
And it hurt. It it really hurt. Man, I love the music for Al of Guard. The overworld music is really nice. Maybe I'll let you take a listen to it. Yeah, it's probably my favorite overworld theme in the Dragon Quest series. Alright, and we got another level, at which point I believe we should learn another spell. Ooh, we got 6 MP, and we learned Sizz, our damaging spell. That'll, well, damage enemies with fire. I believe in the original NES version, it was called Hurt. Because, mm, what else do you need? It's a spell that hurts enemies. Alright, what do we got? I'll get a leather shield. And now I need 150 more coins to get the Copper Sword. So, I'll probably finish off the video by getting those coins, those gold coins, and buying the Copper Sword. After that, We'll probably start exploring the world of Alfgard proper. But first, we have a new enemy. Ghost! He's another vanilla enemy. Does nothing but physical attacks. Y you think he would have a little more special properties being, you know, a ghost, but... No. Anyway... Ooh, we got a new enemy, Scorpion. They have pretty high defense, but are otherwise just another vanilla enemy. However, you can use Sizz on them, and that'll kill them in one shot, more or less. Otherwise, they're actually pretty tough. Ooh, that one gave us 25 gold coins. Ooh, we got a new other new enemy, Dracolite. They can cast Sizz themselves. See? So, you might want to cast this on them, otherwise you'll be burned to a crisp. Ooh, that one gave us 40 gold. I don't know, actually, I think it only gave us 20. And our final new enemy, probably for this video, is Prestidigitator. Jeez, uh, could you include a longer name for that there? Oh well. But yeah, they can also cast this, so you want to take them out quick. Ooh, we're so close. Unfortunately, I'll probably have to rest at the end after this next battle since I just physically attacked, but that's okay. He also did. So, okay, he's dead. Ooh, and we leveled up again. I don't think we'll learn anything this time. Alright. I'll just go back to the castle town. Rest up a little, and... Actually, I think I'll just cut to me buying the copper sword, because... I don't want to put you guys through even just one random battle. In fact, I'm probably going to start cutting them out. Alright, we're back at uh, 
Tentacle Castle Town. I actually <laughs> kind of went overboard with the grinding a little bit. But anyway, we have far more than enough to afford a copper sword now. In fact, I kind of underestimated how much it cost. That was only 150, it was 180. I was off by 30 gold coins. So that's good that I actually did a little extra grinding. Actually, I think I'll also buy some additional herbs. They'll come in handy. By the way, you can carry multiple herbs, but you can only carry six of them. I believe right now we're at four. Yep, six. All right. So, I think I'm gonna end the video here. But first I'll save. So in the next episode, we'll start exploring the world of Alephgard proper. And explore some new town. Well, yeah, some new towns and maybe some new dungeons. All right. See you guys then.